Bosh. Okay, so this is part 12. Again, a straight upload because I haven't got my computer sorted out yet. It's not arrived yet. Okay, in the last vid, I showed you how to modify this. I did a bad job of it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I want to show you how the electrics work. It's quite simple, really. Get your continuity tester. Firstly, put it onto the come across and all the V or the frog, whatever you want to call it. It should be separate from this, 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 this. It shouldn't do anything. Okay, that's how you want it. Now this rail here, obviously that's the same rail, so it should move. This is this should also move. Okay, this one shouldn't do. But if you notice, it moves a little bit. That's because there's still some flux on it. I haven't washed it yet. Okay, and again there. That's just because, like I said. So then you move this to the other rail, and it should be fully there. It should be fully there, but not here. Again, just teeny bit because it's wet slightly. That's it. That's your electrical test. As long as it does that, you're good to go. Okay. Obviously, you do need to pull out to switch on your points, point motors, whatever. But that's ready to install now. So the next part of it is fine tracks. I've already showed you a bit of the fine tracks. Based on the teeny bit I've actually installed and allowed, I've decided I like it. It looks great. It's easier, in my opinion, to work with than the Pico track because that's quite stiff. And the Code 40 rail is rather thin. But when you buy it, you have to buy the rail separate to the sleeping bases. Okay. But just to show you how it's not even hard to sort out. Okay, they come like this, look like telegraph poles. Just that's it. One, two, three, four. That's enough to do one panel. This is a jig that they, um, they sell. It's worth getting, it's about five pounds, it's not even much. And to use it, it's pretty simple. Just take the tops off. You have to make sure you put it in the right way because one side's convex, one side isn't. But simply pop it in. One side's sort of got an angle, make sure that goes downwards. Make sure the top is concave so it sits in properly. You don't have to over tighten it. As long as it pinches it, <coughs> excuse me, it's fine. Now with the rail, with the bull head rail, I doubt it's going to focus, but you have to make sure the fattest part is at the top, which is this way. Okay, now what I do. Just get a pair of pliers. Hold it about there. Let's move the light a sec. That's a bit, bit better. Once you get in the first two, it's easy. So the first three. Now you just throw it in. That's it. You're in. Right. Next rail. Right. It's just initially getting it in. Once you got it in, first few, so it's easy. That's it. Just feed it in. I'll usually feed it in a bit further. I'm going to feed it in two lengths worth and turn it round and go the other way. Because you have to push the, the uh, sleepers up and through it, but just for the sake of showing you. That's it. Ready. And. Right. 
ready to roll. But that looks so much more realistic than Pico's track, don't you think? Well, I certainly do. When you stick it to the Pico, it doesn't look too much out of place. But what I have done is, I bought myself this. Okay, it's a point kit. I haven't built it yet, obviously. Comes with full instructions. You come across in the hardest bits done for you, for you basically. A lot of it's thread in chairs. You have to buy a jig for it again. That's only five pounds. To Farley point blades and the chairs are on pips, so you you know you can see the holes in the sleepers. So it should be a lot easier to put together than a standard hand built point. So that's my trial. One, I want to see if I like to build it, if I can build it, all the rest of it. And then secondly, I might have to change my back-to-backs on the locos in rolling stock if I'm going to use that system. But I ain't sure yet. So that's it. Very quick vid. I'll finish this off off camera. Get the full panel done. So I need to do a few before I can install those points. And that's it, really. So see you next time.